Girls Aloud's Kimberly Walsh is hoping to fulfill her lifelong passion to perform in the West End musical Les Miserables. With her audition for the show in only four days, her first lesson with vocal coach Mary proved that she may have bitten off more than she can chew. I'm a bit overwhelmed about the amount of work there is to do in the time we have. <laughs> her first vocal lesson has rekindled memories of her musical childhood. So along with boyfriend Justin and sisters Amy and Sally, she decides to dig out the family archive for a trip down memory lane. How old were you then? I don't know, I think I might have been about 20. 14, actually. <laughs> 13, 14. At 12 years old, she played one of the child characters in a regional production of Les Mis and loved every minute of it. Done. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Sally, you forgot on the table. I had a whole table. <laughs> of merchandise and memoirs that stayed in my room. A shrine. No, not your room. Our, our room. room. <laughs> a shrine I to Les Mis. Had the big sign poster at the back. Yeah. The doll. The photo album. The cup, strewn. The, the picture. The mug. The sweatshirt. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. I forgot about that. That was a bit weird. I really sure. did enjoy the experience. <laughs> Next morning, it's straight back to training. Her singing teacher Mary is well aware of how hard her audition for Les Mis will be. It's unlike anything she's ever done in Girls Aloud. It's acting and singing together, so the fact that she's been in a girl band, no disrespect, is neither here or there to them. She would have to be totally convincing, and there's certainly some work to do there. We'll just have to do as much as we can in the time. With only four days until the audition, there's no time for mistakes. Have you still got my score? Um, I haven't got it with me today. I've um, forgotten it. I got the tape recorder out to do my um, exercises. Well, I've got and... another one, you're lucky. And so the intense vocal lessons begin. I know that he is blind. It's very evil, easy with nerve to just feel you've got to belt it out. And they're not looking for that. Your voice has to express what you want as an actor. Cut out the milk for a couple of days. I'm thinking about the words, keeping in time, emphasising certain words. On my own. That's a statement, isn't it? Yeah. Let's try again. Certain parts of my voice and it needs to switch. Well, that's no way. Red one. You're making the arch mistake which people do, which is to slow down when they're trying to emphasise a word. It's only in my mind. My mind, set for me. My mind. Consonants. You're nearly there. Good girl, Ken. There's so much to think about. It's great. <laughs> we'll be all over this time tomorrow. Absolutely. To be honest, I think you peaked then, and I'd rather yeah. send you home. I think you've really worked hard at home, haven't you? Yeah. I have. All the things I gave you. Yeah. Do you feel more comfortable? I technically? do. Technically, yeah. Because that's what we want. The lessons are over, but something is still nagging Mary. Except who you are. Just very, very simply tomorrow. I will. Yeah, no, I felt like these were a pain in the way today. Well, tell you what, I they will. didn't bother me, but I think they disturb people's concentration. Yes. Yeah, Just go looking very simple. Yeah, I will do. I'm going to really go for it tomorrow. Massive hoops. Tight, you know, tight, skin tight clothing. No, I'm not really. Um, I kind of agreed with her about the earrings. They were kind of jangling a bit today, and I was thinking, yeah, these won't be part of my outfit tomorrow. There's no more time for training, but has Kimberly learnt enough? I just hope that she's able to show them what she can do, because it's auditioning's an unnatural situation. You never get used to it, but... I've got every hope she'll do fine. Having to give her vocal cords a rest before tomorrow's audition, Kimberly decides to take boyfriend Justin to see Les Miserables. I did want to bring him to see the show and stuff so that, well, yeah, I don't know whether or not I get it or not, at least he'll kind of know what I'm working she'll towards. Get it. Don't say I've that, sorted especially it's not. Fine. I've, <laughs> sort, I've sorted it out. <laughs> I've made the call. <laughs> but no, definitely a lot of practicing has been going on in the house. A lot of belting, um, a lot of sore throats from too much singing. Yeah, I keep getting told off, don't I? Keep saying to me, just, that's enough now, just rest it. Don't come crying to me if you've got no voice in the morning. Thank you. 
Kimberly and Justin settle in to watch the epic tale of passion, power and tragedy that is Les Mis. The show draws to a close and with her audition in less than 12 hours, it's an emotional experience for Kimberly. I know. Some serious I think it was. A, I think it was all just getting a bit too. Much. Yeah, but even at the beginning, before there was. That's what that I mean. I think the death. stress was like just a release. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually just like really go for it tomorrow in the audition, like you know, tears and everything. Just give everything and just hope that they feel sorry for me. Yeah, let her in the show for a night. It's fine. She obviously really wants it. Well, as soon as you've done it, you'll you'll be so happy that you've done it. Mm. And I can't imagine that it'll be anything but good news. It's the morning of the audition and the nerves are truly kicking in. I went straight to bed with the best of intentions and didn't sleep at all. It was awful. You know, you just getting yourself so worked up because you want to sleep and you know you need to get to sleep because you've got to be up and da 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 and then the more that you worry the less you can sleep and I gave up in the end to be honest. Oh I can just relax tonight it'll be over with one way or another. Kimberly's always wanted to be in Lima's so she will throw everything she's got at this. If it's a big deal she does get get quite nervous. She will be absolutely breaking it. And I just try to say to her, like, do you know what? You've just got to try and say to yourself, get on with it. This is her one and only chance to impress the creative team. If she fails, her long-held dream will be shattered. She is being auditioned by La Mis resident director Mariano Dietri and musical supervisor Stephen Brooker. For inviting me, thanks for having me. <laughs> First of all, we'll go through the song, see where it sits, and see what we need to work with. Okay. Just start on the um, on my own. Okay. Um, I'm gonna kick my shoes off if that's yeah. all right. Yeah, that's right. On my own, pretending he's beside me. There's a lot of things that you're looking for. First of all, you're looking for somebody who looks like what you imagine the character should look like. Somebody who could obviously sing it and sing it very well. It's always nice to have somebody that we actually don't think about when they're singing, but just listen to what they're saying. So somebody who's capable of singing through those phrases and telling us a good story. The song starts well, but as she hits the high notes, nerves are affecting her delivery. start quieter. If you start too loud, you're never going to make it. Yeah. I know it's only in my mind. The second time seems more controlled, but now Mariano wants to see if she can take direction. It's about describing what she does on her own when she's walking through those streets. It's the only time she's happy. Okay. Tell me, I'm your best friend, and you're telling me a secret. On my own, pretending he's beside me. A gruelling 30 minutes later, and the audition is over. Thank you so much. To add to the stress, she has to wait for a phone call for the verdict. Um, I'm all right. Having given it her best shot, she goes to unwind with bandmate Nicola. Oh, how are you? How's it all been going? Really? 
What was it like? Um, Are you scared? I was a bit scared, I was a bit scared, but I managed to just about hold it together. I could envision myself, like, being sick. Oh, <laughs> my. Alone. You know, when you get that gulping thing or that dry mouth and you can't, you can't get used to the live or going. Is it like so far removed from what we are? Um, I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm not in girls' lives at the moment. I actually feel like I've been transported out of our normal world. Into a Into, back thing. into like, as if I've never done anything before and I'm auditioning again. Because it's so different. You're not sheltered at all, are you? No, not at all. And it's even like, like for the, us. In the big bag world. Yeah? Yeah, I know. I know, it's bad, I don't like it. I don't like it. The other day I was thinking, I've got a job, I have got a job. Why am I doing this to myself? I worked, I put myself through this once already to get here. I'm glad that's over and we'll just wait and see what happens. Hopefully they'll say yes. Oh yeah. They will. It's the day after the audition and Kimberly is waiting for the phone call to find out if she will finally be a part of Les Miserables, her lifelong passion. I don't know what'll happen, to be honest, if they don't offer anything. We're back to square one, which is not good, because that might mean another audition, and I think that might just kill me. <laughs> for her audition, she sang the solo, On My Own, from one of the show's most popular characters, Eponine. Eponine was a big influence on Kimberly's love for Les Mis. When I was in Les Mis, when I was younger, that was always a part that I thought, when I'm older, maybe I can play that. But at the same time, I can totally understand that I wouldn't be able to do it in two weeks. It just wouldn't be possible. So Eponine may not be an option, but Kimberly desperately hopes that her audition has secured her a place in the show. If they did give me the chance to be on stage and stuff, I think I would really enjoy every minute of it. I loved watching it, absolutely loved it. It just made me remember how, you know, how much I, I did love it when I was younger and I still do. Hello? Hi, Kimberly. Hi, yeah. Yeah, it's Mariano. Listen, well done. You did really, really well. Uh, we're very, very happy with what uh, we got out of you in the audition. Yeah. And we would very much like you to be a part of Les Mis. We would like you to be in the show. And also, by the end of the show, we would like you to sing on my own. In full costume. In character. Right. And in full lighting, so that it feels as you've done uh, the solo. Great news, but now the pressure is really on. So now she's only got two weeks to rehearse for the complex group ensemble, Lovely Ladies. Smelling through the smoke. I don't know how fucking works. On top of that, she'll have to master Eponine's big solo. Think about the words a bit more. She's got her work cut out. <laughs> 